Sports Network, coming to you live from the Dome. Our matchup today features the O. They'll be squaring off against the Jays. I'm Dan Stevens and Chip. Together, these two make for one of the best backfields in the pros. Simply the best, folks. And look at the rest of those players. Some real talent out there. On the other side, we see just as much talent, maybe even more. Warren Moon and Ray Childress set the... Hey, Warren, this is it. We... Blanchard boots it downfield and we're underway. Dawson catches it back at the one. Tackle left to 25. Len Dawson received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The O's send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. Washington gets the sack way back at the 18. Freddie Washington set this offense back a few with that sack. If there's such a thing as anti-momentum, <laughs> they're feeling it. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Moon tips it to the left side, and the ball is caught at the 28, breaks the tackle. Warren Moon for a perfect pass back there. You know, I had a better shot at it than the defense did, and hey, I'm up here in the booth. Huge pickup, and the first down is now within striking distance. Boy, that's exactly what they needed if they wanted to keep this drive alive. Big play. Right, you are, Peter. Let's see if they can convert. Third down, two yards to go. Finally gets out of bounds at the 44. First down. Warren Moon got his own number for the run rather than just throw it away. He got some good yards out of it, too. Marshall takes the hit in the backfield at the 45. Moon dumps this one off and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. No way, baby! Nowhere! Fourth down, and they're going for it. Drives down, but he'll keep the drive alive. First down. We'll get and gains about three yards. Up about two and 
brings up third down. A lot of patience here. The clock is ticking, but he stays cool. Ah, those monsters in front of him really get the job done, though. The receiver show good hands and hauls it in. What a luxury to have that kind of time. His first huge connection of the day was uh, two inches from the sun, I swear. All right, settle down. Slight exaggeration there, big guy. All right, that was a big play. This defense is better at launch themselves. A line has just been blown. Brown gets the handoff and runs into traffic. Touchdown! This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. And so far, he's got 11 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Don't get down, guys. This is nothing, nothing. When we get the lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. Del Greco kicks it away. Murray fields the kickoff at the five. At the 27. Dexter Murray is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Jays offense takes the field and they will start at their own 27 yard line. Isaias unloads this one and it's caught despite a wicked hit to try and jar the ball. Jim Esiason gambles big time on this play and it works. Makes it a little more exciting to watch too. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been an interception. It's a real fine line. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down from the eye. Stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. Johnson gets the call again, and maybe picks up one on the play. Freddie Johnson didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. Well, I guess the defense had their number. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Incomplete. 
Will Mitchell as this one seemingly put away, Dan, and yet somehow he drops it. You know, when people say at work, when they say you dropped the ball on that one, well, he really did. Yeah, so what he did is so bad that it's become an all-purpose cliche. I mean, you can't feel too good about that. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. Isaias gets some air under this pass, and it's tipped incomplete. Ray Robinson couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Blanchard boots it from 50 yards out and it's through the goal post and Good. Ryan Blanchard really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. Blanchard kicks it off. Dawson fields it way back at the two. Drag down at the 23. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Dan Duncan clearly held his man back there. Offensive holding was the right call. The O's got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 13-yard line. Right side, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Shane Coleman was squeezed by two defenders on this play, but still comes up with the ball. Oh, that's pure skill. You can't coach that. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. First down, one man back. will end up losing a couple. Leonard Marshall read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Lewis tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Mark Lewis wouldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Third and long, baby! Boom, just rifles this one, and the reception is made for a first and more. Finally gets out of bounds at the 26. First down. Edward Slater really delivers on this play. Let's take another look first at the catch. There it is, but he's not done. He's going to... First down and four wideouts in the game. We'll get the carry on the ground. Heads up field. Stop at the 18.
first down. Quarter number one. The O's are out in front, seven to three. Seven. Second down, coming up on the tenth play of the drive. Justin Turner gets a hand on this one. Right there, that's how you play D. That's incomplete, and the defense keeps the points off the board. Perfectly played, great call by the defensive coordinator. Third down coming up. Duck. The fastball over the middle, and... Dan Duncan had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. Nice play. They will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. down but instead after the incompletion they will face a second down yeah then you have to take advantage of opportunities like that white Harry, it comes second down and shoes up about four on the play just the fence a little pickup Run, pass, or even a quarterback sneak. All options here. Touchdown! A solid run here, Dan. You want a running back who can make those short, critical yards when it matters. That touchdown is going to establish some distance between them, Peter. That's a big score. the extra point and it's good. Del Greco sends it downfield. Murray fields the kickoff at the six. Stop at the 29. Dexter Murray is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Jays must feel like they need to score this time out. This drive will start at their own 29-yard line. Johnson bulldozes right of center and picks up a couple. Isaias throws this to the right sideline and third down, two wideouts on the field. Johnson reels in the football and they get the first on third and long.
brings up third down. Leonard Marshall rattles the ball carrier's cage there, so much so that the football comes loose. And then since he isn't the one who just got his bell rung, he's alert enough to recover the fumble. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big-time play. The O's come out on offense, and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their 42-yard line. Houston... Shane Coleman tried to make the catch over the middle, but couldn't make the grab. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Will take the handoff and heads right right. Tackle at the 48. Reggie Matthews doubled out a path through the defenders for the run. Actually, the way he pushed the D out of the way reminds me more of a snowblower than a shovel. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down, four yards to go. which one has to be the play of the week, Dan. You know we're showing this one again. Oh, fantastic job picking off the quarterback. Then he sees his route and powers upfield to the end zone for six. You can't coach that. That touchdown will bring them within striking distance of the lead. Yeah, big points, Dan. They did exactly what they needed to there. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Point is good. James are set for the kicker. Johnson deep to receive. Blanchard kicks it away. Dawson catches it back at the one. Back down at the 27. Len Dawson got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The O's stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 27-yard line. White carries it for the sixth time and rambles for about five. Jeffrey. 
the missile, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Warren Moon goes right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 162 yards and one interception. White will take the hit and it's out right. Houston tackles him for a short loss. Ben Houston targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Washington gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and... Moon lets it go down the right side and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. Edward Slater is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Well, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Del Greco sends it downfield. Murray fields the kickoff at the nine. Tackle at the 24. Dexter Murray tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Jays, they have taken the field, and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their own 24-yard line. Johnson chews up nine yards, and that will bring up second. Freddie Johnson just does not take no for an answer. Watch the physical play here. Oh, he just lowers his shoulder and goes to town. A tremendous charge for yards there. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. it away. Dawson takes it at the 27. Drag down at the 33. Lane Dawson didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The O's come out and are hoping to continue their success on the ground. They will start at their 33-yard line. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Cole catches it over the middle, and 
is well past the markers for a first down. Shane Coleman took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Moon zings it right First down and four wideouts in the game. White takes it for his eighth carry and heads wide left. One man to beat. Finally stopped at the 10. Wide down on the play. Let's get the call. And watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented. It's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what. He takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. And when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Oh, that... that. We need to get across the line. One, two, three scoring threats. Sneak or run or... Quick floater to the corner. Let's see. Moon fires this one over the middle, and it's caught for the score. <laughs> Warren Moon makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Whoa, he stuck that one in there for his second TD, as he has been doing game in and game out. Yeah, he's proven today that he is the man. Here's the point after, and it's good. Del Greco boots it away. Murray catches it back at the one. Left down at the 23. Dexter Murray received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Jays take the field with the clock at 26. continue the run. Shoot, I've been hit harder than that in high school. 
Second down, and the clock is now at eight. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The O's in command of this one, 28 to 10. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? Well, here's a look at our halftime stats, and as you can see, it paints a pretty clear picture. The O's are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Moon got the carry as they stayed on the ground on third down, and he'd make it pay off. A 24-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The O's strike first and go up by seven. After driving 40 yards on seven plays, Blanchard sets up the field goal attempt from just about the parking lot. That has a lot of leg, though. He's got it. The Jays connect on the field goal. Trying to answer back, the O's leading by four. Slater found a soft spot in the defense, and it worked to his advantage. They move ahead by 11. The Jays now in the second quarter. Robinson is going to have a beat on this fumble, and he's right there to get his hands on it. The Jays back 14 to 3. Hearts would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off, and then he had some clear sailing in front of him. A 54 yard play that set up touchdown for the visitors. The Jays climb back into the game, now down by four. After getting an interception, ball at the 47. Moon went to the air, trying to convert on third down, and he found his man. A 46-yard touchdown for the home team. Late into the second quarter, the O's winning by 11. White is going to take this one to the outside, and once he gets the corner, it's a foot race. And that will do it. The O's are up big at the half, 28 to 10. All right, Dan. Nice work. The Jays will get the ball first here in the second half, and they are going to need a bunch of scores to get back into this one. Currently, they're down 28 to 10. Let's go down to the field. Del Greco kicks it, and the second half is underway. Murray fields the second half kickoff at the six. At the 27. Dexter Murray is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Jays are fading fast and desperately need to score. Their offense will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Johnson puts it in right side. That's a gain of seven on the play. Freddie Johnson played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Johnson. up one on the play. Freddie Johnson got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. And they will be just shy of the markers. Fourth down. Will Farrar made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Aggie takes the snap and punts it away. Dawson fields the punt. <laughs> the 28. Len Dawson got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered.
The O's are really in command and have yet another shot to score. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their own 28. It's up about two, and that will bring up second down. his tail runs into traffic Turner tackles him for a short loss Justin Turner got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield nice defensive stop that will be his fourth tackle and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary well he's making him think twice before going his direction First down, 10 yards to go. First down. Let's make sure we keep him out of field goal range here. Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. That will bring up first. This is a great run, Dan. Look at the yards he chews up. Peter, he had a great jump off the line. He was in fifth gear before the defense could even react. Motored for some easy yards. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. for a first down. Ernest Gibbons reels in the pass despite nearly getting squeezed by two defenders. There's the catch and the double coverage. They really didn't phase him there. Maybe they ought to send in a third. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Still time left. We gotta start making some stops. Let's go. Floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's hit for the score. Yeah. 
Shane Coleman as a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man Cole. It's all about staking your turf. Y you know... The visiting team are challenging whether the pass was caught down. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. After review, the pass has been ruled incomplete. get the call. Del Greco has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. Uh, well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. Del Greco boots the heck out of this one. Murray decides to take it out of the end zone. Hurry! Down to 23. Dexter Murray took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Jays will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Isaias zips it to the left sideline, and the ball is caught at the 27, finally dropped at the 30. Mike Burgess makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. That was exactly what the offense wanted. Good job not to even let it get to third down. He was still short of the yardage marker when he received that ball, but his legs and determination got him the first. First down with the tight end right. It's intercepted. To 27. Big pick, baby. Big pick. Leonard Marshall times his leap perfectly to swipe away that pass for the interception. Oh, beautiful job. I swear, he is so high, only dogs can hear him. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The O's take the field, and they have had some big running plays. We'll see if another one is in the works. We'll start at the 27 yard line. White gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Hey, what was the problem there? Bad throw. I just got to shake it off and move on. Ben Houston would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his third tackle of the game. Third down, one man back. Down! Moon rifles this one hard. Interceptions made at the six. And he's 
stop right there. It'll be first and goal. Warren Moon throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 293 yards and two touchdowns. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The O's in command of this one, 31 to 10. Fellas, let's keep them out of the end zone. Shane Coleman is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. Another touchdown, and they are really running away with this one. <laughs> the crazy thing is, they aren't showing any signs of slowing down. Here's the point after, and it's good. Del Greco boots the heck out of this one. Murray decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 19. Dexter Murray got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Jays have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive. It starts at their own 19 yard line. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Go time. Smith tackles him for a short loss. Al Smith targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Isaias throws this on a rope. And the completion is made. Short of the markers, however. Fourth down coming up. Mike Burgess got out of bounds after getting some yardage, but you can tell that it wasn't as much as he wanted. They get some yards out of that play, but they are short. Yeah, didn't get quite the punch they wanted to. Aguiar lines up to punt after the three and out. Aguiar takes the long snap and punts it away. Dawson hauls it in at the 36. Stop at the 40. Len Dawson got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The O's offense takes the field and they will start at their 40 yard line. Moon throws this one way downfield, and it's complete. Chase down at the 11. Warren Moon gets time to make all of his reads before letting that pass go. And he lets it go, and the credit has to be given to your old bunch, the offensive line. Oh, yep, they're making that pocket airtight, baby. How many times can this guy blast him downfield? He has been unstoppable today. Oh, it's like a war zone out there, Dan. The defense is just getting bombed right and left. Thanks for giving me all that time, boys. Yep. First and ten. Yeah. Watch the pass. 
White cruises out the line and moves forward for seven. Kenny White played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and three from the Jays. Well, here's a goal line threat. A couple of excellent receivers and a quarterback. Wow. Loses two, and that brings up third down. Kim Mercer read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Hart makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Jimmy Hartz calculates the pattern right off the line, locates the ball. Oh, just gets a finger on it. That broke up a sure completion. That was the fourth time they've... Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Del Greco with a 23-yarder, and it's through the goal post, and go. Del Greco puts in an easy short one. A clean kick. Del Greco kicks it away. Murray deals the kickoff at the one. Pop hard at the 22. That was a crusher, baby! The Jays haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 22-yard line. Isaias fires this one over the middle and he's hit as he throws incomplete. Boomer Esiason took a shot back there, which is why that pass went nowhere. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. It's right. a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second down, two receivers to the left. We'll get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. No, no, no! Isaias lobs this one over the middle, and it's intercepted. Back down at the 19. Ray Robinson has this pass dead to rights all the way, Dan. He's got the interception and enough room to run the ball and give his offense a head start. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The O came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at the 19-yard line. Brown takes it across the line of scrimmage and gains about three yards. Second down and four wideouts in the game. up nine yards and that will bring up first down this is a very good run for a sizable game dan you can't ask for much more out of your rushing offense than that a well-designed play there peter and they will move the chain great execution Go
will gain close to six. A pick up of six yards on the play. Lock with the tackle. Second and goal. Oh, a lot of weapons out there, Dan. They can get you through the air or on the ground. Marshall penetrates and makes the stop at the three. Leonard Marshall read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his third tackle of the game. The O's want to talk it over and they take their first time out. Leonard Marshall just pushes him back in time on this one. Big loss, great defensive play. Watch. Fourth down, goal to go. Del Greco with a 24-yarder and it's good! Well, Del Greco has a little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Del Greco hits a boomer down the field. Murray decides to take it out of the end zone. Left down at the 17. Dexter Murray thought he had some running room from the end zone, but gets planted before he gets to the 20. The Jays were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 17-yard line. Makes the sack at the 14. Johnson grabs the fastball over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. Isaias throws a heater right sideline and he hits his van for a pickup of nine. Donnie Mathis snatched it out of the air without any challenge from the defense, Dan. You know, my grandmother could have covered him better. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Holds on to it for the first down. Isaias goes into the left side of the line and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Neil Mitchell played it smart there, stopping the clock by heading to the sideline. That's a good play. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Leonard Marshall quickly closed on the ball after he diagnosed the receiver's route. Man, great instincts. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Isaiason lobs this one a bit, and 
it's intercepted. Tackled at the 36. And here's Sonison. Let's the pressure in the backfield get to him and cloud his thinking. He lets it go. And the defense snaps it up. You can tell he knew as soon as the ball left his hands that he should have held on to it. Yeah, you want to make the play, but sometimes you got to know when to fold on a pair of threes. That last throw will go down as an INT in his stats, but overall this year, he's been pretty accurate. Absolutely. That's a rare interception for him. The O's start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.52. White, the Jays, take their first time up. Second down and less than a yard. No good, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. John Jefferson ran a quick hitch on that last play. Didn't quite work out. Incomplete. Although that was incomplete, we've rarely mentioned that word with this offense. And that is held true all the way up here to the fourth quarter. Yeah, the D is a very long day today. Tackled at the 12. The Jays will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.32. Johnson makes the catch out to the left and tackled and the clock will continue to run. Second down from the eye. The Jays take a timeout. That's their final one. Falls incomplete. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Isaiah lobs this one away. The ball's caught at the 29. Tackle, but they keep the drive alive. First down at the 38. First down. Esiason spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down, 10 yards to go. Esiason just and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. Esiason spikes the ball and that will stop the clock. Second down coming up on the tenth play of the drive. Third down, the clock is now at 34. Down. Sit. Johnson snags the missile and they get the first on third and long. Esiason spikes the ball and that will stop the clock. 
Second down. The clock is stopped at 13. going to do it for this one. The O's come out on top 44 to 10. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Moon would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 26-yard field goal. The O's moving ahead big and now lead by 21. Towards the end of the third quarter, Marshall was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Still late in the third, the O's leading by 21. Moon went to the air trying to convert on third down and he found his man. They have opened it up and now lead by 28. The O's later in the fourth, Moon is back to throw as they want to air it out here and this one is right on target. That set up a short 23 yard field goal. The O's winning 41 to 10. Robinson is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. After driving 12 yards on five plays, Del Greco would come on and connect on the field goal try. The O's connect for their third field goal. Late into the fourth quarter, the Jays losing by 34. McDaniel would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Jays, still late in the half, Esiason set up shop as they decide to go for it on fourth down and he delivered. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. And that's how we'll round this one out. The O's serve up a blowout, 44 to 10. And here's your 2K Sports player of the game. Warren Moon proved once again why he's one of the best. What a performance. And I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talents. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my part... Thank <laughs> you.